Sixers internet, hello, happy Tuesday. Welcome back to Number Six with Cheese. Today, Doritos and B Dubs did a little collaboration uh, for a flaming hot nacho sauce on wings. And I think they probably crumble a little bit of Doritos nachos on there too. Uh, so today, B Dubs food review, glad you're here. Yeah, we also wanted to do a Patreon shout out. Uh, Evil Ernie just did, uh, he went from the $5 to the $108 mark. And um, yes. Focused on the light. Whenever we do it at the traffic light, I'm always, yeah, yeah. I'm always waiting to like. Yeah, move. I know. It's... Um, so there, there you go. Yeah, he did the ten dollars a month uh, paid up front, got percentage off. So thank you for that. Come along, food review time. Let's feast. All right, two different orders, two six pieces of the boneless Doritos Flamin' Hot Nacho Wings from B-Dubs acquired Jump Cut. All right, we're gonna take you in for a Corey Wagner second angle. Keep in mind, these were $9.99 a six pack. Corey, go for it. All right, there you go, look at that. We got the um, nice blazing red Flamin' Hot uh, chicken chunks there and they're covered in some uh, crunched up Doritos. They look, uh, they look uh, very chemical. Mm -hmm. And then real quick on the big camera, cause we got it, there they are. We'll see how spicy. Okay, uh, you heard what I said. A lot of, a lot of words. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Okay, that's tasty. There's a little bit of an extra crunch from the Doritos, which is cool. Real salty. Mm -hmm. Real, real salty. Yeah, pretty good. I dig that. Spice kind of comes on the back end. Mm -hmm. After you swallow, I'm like, I'm feeling that for sure. I mean, not bad at all. These Doritos partnerships with B-Dubs, it's just a home run. They can mm -hmm. just keep running the menu, keep doing all the different chips and never run out of ideas because Doritos keeps coming out with new stuff constantly. I do some ranch here. We also gave us, you get a free bag, I don't know if always, but we got a free bag of flaming Hot Nacho Doritos, so mm. that's kind of cool. Yeah, I guess you could crumple more on it. <laughs> mm-hmm, I dig this. Me too. Now, I know like the chicken wing and boneless, I guess boneless chicken didn't go up as much as regular wings, but 10 bucks for six. How do you feel about that price? I feel like that's probably what it's always been. I think it's always been kind of like a dollar fifty a wing, like on non. Yeah, thanks. So I don't think it's like. Right. I mean, I think it's what the price of beat up is. Right. I think it's kind of always been that way. I think Tuesdays was always the fifty cent wings. Yeah. That was always the money move. Yep. Man, these are. I mean, these are great. Like. I've told you guys in the past when we've done B-dubs, I like to get a bunch of different flavors if I go there. So this would be fun to get six of these. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's my favorite flavor, but it's a fun one to mix into the crew. Yeah. I like that there's actually some good heat to it too. Mm -hmm. And I do like the Doritos on top. Me too. It doesn't add a ton, but just enough for me to be like, yeah, I can, I dig that. A little bit more texture. Yeah, a little I bit really, more texture. I really dig. I mean, the color is absurd. Like, the in, my insides are, so red. are gonna be screaming. But that is about as fake as I can get. But that's probably what you're looking for. I mean, mm -hmm. that's... That really that's, that's what I'm really looking for because you know what gets clicks? A good thumbnail. Yeah, that's you know true. A good we know thumbnail, that world. A nice bright red color, man. Mm -hmm. We've got a couple of really fun B Dubs videos on this channel. We did all the sauces back in the day, like four or mm -hmm. five years ago, and then we did our favorite three sauces each. Um, we, so you can go watch that, find out what our favorites were. We've done like the scorpion rum uh, ones back in the day when those came out and they came with ice cream. There's a bunch of good people. Even on some of their regular food. Yeah, yeah, we have their burgers are great. Their like, burgers are fantastic, mm -hmm. surprisingly. Beat Ups impresses me. I mean, their ratings still have like gone down a touch right. from a decade ago, but right. I like their innovation though. I overall, as a franchise, really dig Beat Ups. Me too. They also serve a great purpose of when I'm in these like kind of mid tier towns and I don't know where to go for like a beer, and before or after a gig or like doing something, B-dubs is always like reliable. Yeah. Like I'll, I'll go, if I can't find a local place, like. I mean, I'll never go to a B-dubs for a beer. I'm like, especially <laughs> the yeah. smaller the town, the more likely I'm trying to find like the townie bar. For sure. So I've stayed up. The I don't interstate. agree with you. Just to put, I, I don't rope me into that. Just so the That's just a Seanism. Yeah, I've stayed on some interstates. At I'm some a local gigs beer guy. Where I'm nowhere near like an actual town. They have like literally the fast food joints and then an Applebee's and a B Dubs and a Chili's. And I'm, like, I'll find, I'll, I'll, I'll belly up to the bar at a B Dubs. There's no way. Dude, there's some towns where they're literally like, they don't. Right, drink. You're, you're staying right off the expressway and there's like nothing open past like 9 p.m. for like food and drinks. Go yeah, talk to old Corey Wagner when you want to know where the bars are at. <laughs> this guy just doesn't have the dedication of, to alcoholism the way I do. To Google Maps, uh, open bar. <laughs> yeah, bro. This is America, bro. You're telling me, I mean, I guess there are dry counties. There are, and also, what about like if you're staying in a if place a, where you want to drink and there's no like easy getting around? 
And you, you can, can drink walk, and drive. You bro. can you walk to and from your hotel. Don't do there's that. a beat Don't up. Do that. Poor Wagner does not say you should drink and drive. Yeah, I guess if you gotta walk. There's like some weddings I've been to in the middle of nowhere where like the B dubs was open after the wedding and it was w okay. in the parking lot. Maybe yeah, that's more like, so what I mean. Do it. Maybe I should clarify. <laughs> yeah. So I'm saying, I'm, dude, I'm such just a local, one time. I'm obsessed with like local bars. I mean, of course. Of so course. yeah, I just I can't help but to go try to find that local bar. I'm a big not go to like those people go to Applebee's and drink. That there are like some folks. No too. way. I love <laughs> local places. You like are to belly up at beat ups? You won't go to an Applebee's? I think there was one time off an intercept, one time at some random wedding when I was 23, <laughs> and it's roped into my mind. These are great. I'm like, as I'm on my like last one, I love this. I don't think I've ever had the flaming hot Doritos. I don't think I've had that variety. Are there more varieties of flaming hot Doritos? Are there like a flaming hot cool or what is there? Mm hmm. There's like a flaming hot cool ranch. There's a flaming hot like. Lime one. No, oh, cool. Flamin' Hot Nacho. I'm still Flamin' Hot Cheetos over that. Yeah, dude, I would, me too. Flamin' Hot Cheetos is one of the goats. Oh, bro, it's funny that you brought up drinking a bunch today. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. I forgot I was gonna tell people. I, I have a new blog that's out about all the best dive bars in Wrigley. I went around for opening day. That was the best transition ever. I, I forgot, it worked out perfect. <laughs> yeah. And I didn't go to any Applebee's. I didn't even go to like any of the chain ones. Mm -hmm. Sean kept hitting me up being like, yo, I'm over at Fridays, you trying to I come grab to, a beer? I was trying to go to Ruby Tuesday with you. I tried to find like the least bro -y bars in Wrigley. Which is tough sometimes. Which is tough. But the first place I went to is a Sean favorite. And I think I mentioned you in the video that this Olive is Olive Garden? <laughs> um, my Sean favorite, okay. Nisi Lounge. Bro. Oh my God, dude. I'm, I always I'm, okay, thank you right, every I'm time. I'm so mad at myself. You're the first person to take me there. I love it. And so every time I go there, I always thank you. I, uh, I, I love hard. that bar. It's really weird. They also, really weird and uh, some of the best social media, hilariously. Their Twitter account is like a really? thing. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. that's awesome. Yeah, they're great, dude. I didn't know they had a uh, back patio. That's Did new. Did you know about that? New as of the pandemic. Have you seen it? I've never been there in person, it's only online. So cool because the train goes by yes. in the background, and I literally had never, never knew that. That's pretty cool though. Uh, what are what are some I know I want to go watch the video, but what are some other of the bars out there? Um, <laughs> I'm just curious. We did Nisi Lounge. Mm -hmm. Dude, there was a lot of bars that weren't open for opening day cub. That's a miss. And That's I a think swing and a miss. And they opened later in the day. They just didn't open because the opening day was I don't get that. I don't get it at all. They're Did they just not missing like money? Out free money. So wow, I don't did know, the owner so, have tickets? <laughs> I guess. Went to Merkel's, that place was way cooler than I've never I expected. Been to it was pretty cool. A little pricey. Went mm -hmm. to Sluggers. I was gonna say Sluggers. Did you take any VP? No, but AJ did. Oh and nice. He was a good baseball player in high school. Yeah. That kid's got a beautiful swing. Was he actually hitting them? Because he was oh. going to the fast pitch one. Some yeah. of those are terrifying. He, dude, he's pretty good though. Yeah, he was he was I believe him. it. And then um we were gonna go to L and L, but they didn't open until five. Yeah. And then I ended up going to Clark Street because I needed food desperately bad and yeah. Vince kept getting me that's shots a, that's there. That's a great spot. Did pickleback yeah. Malort, that's pretty gross. Wow. Yeah. That's somehow it ramping it up. It does work. Yeah. If that's what you want out of your shot, it working, it works. <laughs> yeah. But that's fun, fun, man. Yeah, that's great. I'm excited to watch that one. You know I love a dive bar yeah. and an Applebee's. So that's a perfect segue because next week I actually have a video of the top five um, chain restaurants downtown. <laughs> uh, if you're staying at a, at a Hilton. <laughs> That's that is not, that is a vlog I would make. Yeah, <laughs> I would, yeah. Maybe I will make that. Uh, all right. Anyways, watch this vlog, uh, guys. Don't forget to like this video. Uh, how about this? What's your favorite Doritos chip of all time? Your favorite, oh. your favorite flavor, flavor, flavor of Dorito. That's great. I think Goat is still Cool Ranch. Yeah, me too. Comment yours below, and then now let's rate those wings. Uh, they're not wings. Shut up. Out of five. <laughs> Um, just to do it out of five angels wings. Yeah. How many angels wings do you give the Doritos flaming hot nacho 999 six piece boneless Cory? Um, it wasn't the best wings like the best wing sauce I've had nor was it the best like innovation thing They've come out with like in terms of like flavor profile, but it was still pretty damn good I really like the crunch up Doritos on it. I did like the added texture. The heat was fantastic I thought they did a good job on that and the flavor was good enough that I'm not like pissed off I'm gonna take a bunch of points away. So well above average not the greatest still feeling good about it 3.8 oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm just like excited about these Doritos promotions with B-dubs. Like, we'll probably continue to do them because we like both parties involved. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, not super innovative, but they did make those taste. I mean, aside from the fact that there's actually the crunchy chips on it, the sauce itself was very good. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go, I was thinking right there, I'm gonna go 3.75. Yeah. Very similar scores. Um, let us know also if you've had those yet, uh, what your thoughts are on those if you want to. And we'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Tomorrow, local Chicago video. And then Thursday, the same thing, local video. Uh, thanks for rocking with us, and we'll see you very, very soon back on the channel.
support your local dive.